Hey guys, what's up? This is Cyrus, and this is the 24th mission in my Let's Play Space Run 5 Star Delivery. Today, we're going to be tackling Hell Shells from out of this world. We're going to be delivering two Stargates and three Strange Crystals. So far, I have unlocked the Laser Cannon fully upgraded, the Missile Launcher fully upgraded, the Twin Blaster uh, with switch configuration off camera. And I'm sorry about this, guys. I have unlocked the Rocket Battery, the Kinetic Shot, the Zone Strike, and the Haste. And uh, that was pretty expensive, but I was maxed out on credits. I already had the heavy laser turret unlocked fully. Uh, force field I had unlocked fully. Anti-missile defense unit with deviation and frenzy. Off camera I locked up. I unlocked uh, reuse and the plas plasma aegis basic. Space thruster unlocked fully. The power generator I had hot fix and overload originally. I also unlocked re reinforce off camera. High drive booster fully upgraded. The fusion reactor with radiant power. Mass repair and Reinforce I unlocked, and the Spacefold Generator, or Spacefold Engine, with Time Stretch, Hyperspace, and Optimization. I bought all that off camera, sorry about that guys. Antimatter Reactor Basics. So what happened was before I basically had uh, 99,999 credits, and um, I had to unlock a lot of stuff, so I did unlock the Spacefold Generator and uh, fully, which I will use in this next mission, and then I basically completed a bunch of um, stuff that I had mostly completed except for the passive and then I unlock the rocket battery fully so uh, I was long-winded now we're gonna start placing stuff I'm gonna place a strange crystal here a strange crystal here a strange crystal here and then a stargate canted right here and then one right there so I I put most of my stuff in the direct center so it doesn't touch anything I'm gonna put my um, basic thruster there I'm gonna hit skip I'm gonna break it I'm gonna hit 3x I'm gonna put another thruster right there and then as soon as it's complete, I'm going to break it as well, so I get some extra money. And then I got a threat coming in from the back, so I'm going to hit 1 and Q and put a heavy laser turret right there. And then I'm going to power it up with a basic um, power generator there and a basic power generator there. And what that's going to do is this power generator is going to allow this engine to be optimized. So it gives us a little bonus thrust. And then I'm just going to collect some money here. And you can see these are just big asteroids. They won't even hit the ship if I don't let them. So um, they're not a huge threat. Most of the threat comes from this damn ship on its own. It's these little crystals, and they just take up everything on our ship. And um, when they do spawn, I try to put them towards the middle of the ship, and I just try to manage them. They, uh, luckily, the mission is pretty forgiving in the fact that um, you don't need to do a huge amount of damage. You can, you can kind of just set up the heavy laser turret every direction strategy and uh, be okay and I think that's mostly because um, you do have these strange crystals that kind of screw you at different parts so um, I do have a, a threat coming in from directly in the front I'm gonna collect all the money I can and I built a heavy laser turret right there and I don't have the power to power it up yet and I'm actually going to wait I'm gonna wait on this one I'm gonna wait till I get a hundred power and then I'm gonna build an anti-matter reactor and I'm actually gonna put it right here and it's going to take a while to build, and you don't have to really worry about um, these ships passing you by, because worst case scenario, this heavy laser turret back here will take care of them. This guy will end up doing some work on this ship right here, not so much this ship, but uh, we will destroy both of them. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Just collect the money as it comes in, break these again, which will get you some extra money, and then build, uh, let's see, I'm actually going to, I'm going to take 200 credits, I'm going to build uh, a, a heavy laser turret going off this direction. I could have built it right here to take out these asteroids, but these asteroids are not actually threatening the ship, and if I build this heavy laser turret right here, it'll still take them all out, and it's actually touching three powers, so it's already got the high energy shots, it's already like good to go, I don't have to worry about it. So now we got some stuff coming in. We got some um, small pirate drones. They got missiles, but they're real. Uh, oh no, they just got lasers. Okay, but I do have an executioner with missiles coming in. So I do want to build a anti-missile defense unit right going off this direction. And then now that I have a bunch of extra credits, I actually want to build my space fold engine, and I want to build some just basic power generators going off this direction and the reason I want to do that is because I'm gonna probably save these spots for um, crystals that end up spawning. I uh, gotta hate these crystals so much. As soon as this pops off though it's already gonna be optimized it's good to go. This guy's gonna throw some missiles at me but 
They're not going to do anything. If anything, uh, I think I'm actually going to get, yeah, I'm going to get credits. Look at this. Because I bought that little five credits per destroyed missile thing. I'm actually going to get credits for it. It's awesome. And my extra 200, I'm going to build another heavy laser turret going forward. This mission is kind of about uh, speed of building stuff. It's beca because these little damn crystals spawn, you want to try to fill out your ship as quick as possible. Otherwise, your ship is going to fill up with these little damn freaking crystals. So you're just going to kind of see me throw out a bunch of different... Oh, look at this. I, I don't want that one there. I hate that. I'm going to fill out my ship with different um, items in order to just fill it out. I don't even care. I, I don't want that guy there. I don't want that guy there. Ugh. I got kind of lucky in my placements here because I could have had much worse placements when I've tried to make this video before. I have had much worse placements. Let's see. Um, I think I actually want to maybe move this guy here. I'm going to repair that for sure. Okay. And now we'll boost this. We got extra money. Let's just start boosting stuff. I'm going to put a, uh, a just a basic laser turret there and there. That guy's filled up. Okay. So now we got these Reapers coming in. These Reapers are pretty freaking destructive, but luckily we're going to use our old patented death ray in order to take them out. So we just aim for the bridge, which is kind of right there, and we just fire it. There it goes. Bam. And now we repair our thing. Look at that. So get good with the uh, get good with the death ray, guys. You're gonna need it. I'm gonna put. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. We got some extra missiles coming in. I want to put a missile missile defense unit right there. Oh, luckily it's coming on this side. Look at that. We got a bunch. We're gonna laser blades that guy. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have shields in this one, so we're gonna laser blades instead. As soon as that guy's dead. We'll go ahead and repair that. And then I want to build my rocket batteries. Going off, one going off this direction and one going off this direction. And this is mostly going to help handle the Reapers that are going to come in from the um, upper right and the lower right. And you can just see these damn little... <laughs> I, hate, I hate these little shards so much. Let's boost. Oh, we don't have boost yet. Okay, that's fine. We don't need boost yet. Let's repair repair. Oh, that that little damn shard is, look at that. Look at that, it's cutting our arc off. Oh, I hate it so much, guys. I hate it. Let's laser blades. I don't want to get too frisky on this mission, so. Let's try another death ray. Ready? You guys see this? Uh, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it goes out this full duration, so I'm just going to kind of wait a minute. I'm going to aim for the bridge right there, lead a little bit, and fire. And it didn't work. That is nuts. Okay. Well, we'll still be okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, I'm going to blink this over here. So if you guys get in real trouble, here's a, uh, a bit of a cheese trick you can do. We're going to repair this stuff. I'm going to do it right here. But you can hyperspace your space full generator. This will make you pretty much immune to everything and put you way ahead of the light speed curve. So let's say, uh, I, uh, you know what? I don't really want to deal with this. I'm going to hyperspace. My ship's going to go invulnerable and I'm actually going to jump way ahead of this thing. Stuff does come in though. Be careful. Look at it. It's still here. Laser blades this. Yes. All right, we're good to go. And it may be inevitable that I get these little damn crystals here and there. I can't keep my arcs on my thing. Look at this. Look how much it cuts down the arc. Look, that's an arc undisturbed, and that's an arc disturbed. Ugh. It's just horrible. Now we have two Reapers coming in. These, these bad boys have shields. They have all sorts of weapons on them, missiles. They're nasty customers. So um, we definitely want to take them out as quick as possible. Luckily we have some rockets going. That's why I made these rocket batteries going out this way. That's why I also have these um, you know, let's use deviation. I never use freaking deviation. Let's use it. 
And, you know, we've got a bunch of money. Let's uh, laser blades, laser blades. And then after we do that, we're going to death ray. We're going to death ray the bridge on that one. Bam, it's gone. And uh, we're going to death ray the bridge on this one if we get the chance. Because why not? No, no, no. We didn't, we didn't even need it. We're, hey, we're way ahead of the light speed delivery. And that's it. So there is some forgiveness on this mission as far as... Um, placement but fill up the ship as quick as possible I, I didn't do a very good job on this one but I got the basic structure of what I wanted in place I got my heavy laser turrets going every direction I used the death ray I used the laser blades make sure you're taking full advantage of that all I needed was two basic engines and this hyperspace generator I probably could have used like three high drive boosters instead and just been just as fine but uh, it was fun to use the the space fold engine. It's cool. Five star guy, five stars guys, 120 stars total. Uh, I went back up to 44,799 credits. I hope you enjoyed this mission. Next time we're gonna be doing. I, I feel like that that mission more than a lot of them. Where is it? That mission more than a lot of them you can do a bunch of different ways so um, feel free to experiment if you didn't like the way I did it we've already completed all those guys next time we're gonna be doing neuro vertigo so until then keep getting five stars and this is Cyrus 